and the competition is over in Dallas as well. This was no courtship of Eddie's father, this was more in the lines of love story. Better yet, that ill-fated movie Love Affair. Orrin Beatty and Annette Bening fell in love on a plane. Apparently, Cupid stung Jerry Jones some 30,000 feet up too. Jones met Steelers offensive coordinator Chan Gailey on Sunday. Four days later, they're married. Gailey to coach the Cowboys for five years or until the divorce. Here's Jeremy Schapp. As he introduced the Cowboys' fourth ever head coach, Jerry Jones made one thing very clear. That coach is Chan Gailey, not Jerry Jones. Chan Gailey is here to coach, do the kinds of things we need to do from a head coaching perspective, to have discipline, to have organization. But well, everybody in this room knows the final decision goes through this gentleman right here. You know, uh, but he, you know, he's going to have a great working relationship uh, with me and with the entire team. And um, uh, we're going to make decisions that are best for this football team. Gailey will also have a good relationship with his offensive coordinator. That's because Gailey will be his own offensive coordinator. We may have an offensive coordinator in name, um, but I'll, I'll end up running the offense. When the Cowboys last saw Chan Gailey in the first game of the 1997 season, they were beating his Pittsburgh Steelers 37-7. to But by the end of the regular season, it was the Cowboys who were struggling and the Steelers who were surging. Jones always said he wanted an offensive coach, and that's what he got, to the apparent delight of several of his veteran stars. I'm excited about what Chan's going to be able to bring to the offense. Uh, uh, I've talked to a lot of different people over the last few days, uh, players that he's worked with, uh, coaches, and, and they all are very favorable in their remarks and, and, uh, and his ability to coordinate an offense and get things going, and then in addition to that, uh, him being able to run the football team. You know, it finally's over, and now we can... Uh start putting the uh, pieces of the puzzle back together and uh, start working on uh, some of the things that we need to get accomplished for 1998. He kept working, he kept working, he kept working, and, 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 he, and you know, through, through all his work, he found the right man, and I'm excited about that. He, you got to be excited about it, because I, I, I know, and maybe you guys don't know, but I know the kind of hours he put into it. I know what it means to him to have made the right decision, and, and he feels it's the right decision, and, and I feel it's the right decision. Unlike Jimmy Johnson and Barry Switzer, who had never coached in the NFL before Jones hired them, Gailey commands immediate respect as a veteran NFL assistant and as a former college and World League head coach. Most head coaches that take new jobs are sitting there talking about how hard they have to rebuild and how much is missing and making excuses before the season even starts about how bad it's going to be. Uh, I certainly don't feel like... I am in that position. When Switzer resigned, Jones said he would find a head coach who would excite Cowboys fans, who would get them up on the edge of their seats. No one thought he meant Chan Gailey, but clearly Jones has found in Gailey a highly respected professional to coach the team that epitomizes professional football. And for Cowboys fans, that's a change worth celebrating. At Valley Ranch, Jeremy Schaap. ESPN. Okay, Jeremy, full name, Chandler Gailey does have one title to his credit. He led Troy State to the 1984 NCAA Division II title. He has spent 10 years as an NFL assistant. Four of his teams went to the Super Bowl. Seven were division winners.